today is going to be quite short. I'm not going to go in full detail on everything, but today we're going to do GPU, RAM, and NVMe. If you've already seen the NVMe, there's a time, well, a part in the time where obviously the skip, you don't want to watch it since I've already released a video like this beforehand. Yes, we're not going to go too much detail and I don't want to waste any more of your time. So I do hope you enjoy it and I do hope you can actually find this First off, get this graphics card here first and we should take this off. Can you see this clip here? Press into it, or like squeeze it, and then try and wiggle it, and then finally pop it out. You can probably see this like little clip here. Push that back, and normally after when you push it all back, and also when you get rid of the screws here, after getting rid of them, you should be able to wiggle this off and pop it out, like so. To place your newer one in, place the GPU this side like so. It's a bit wobbly, but don't worry. It'll also just uh, plug this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Shh. Fucking put this right in here. If you are a Minecraft YouTuber, you should be experienced into uh, putting things in tiny holes. Put the screws back in, and your GPU is now secured. If you were just cleaning your previous GPU and then just slunging it back in here, you don't need to do follow anything I'm gonna say, but if you do, um, like if you changed your GPU, let's say you went from a 1060 to a 590, then you're gonna have to delete the previous drivers and then get the AMD drivers. Sometimes, like for example, this is a 1070 now, the one I just took out there, is a 4060 and um, sometimes the games and the drivers all get fucked up. Also make sure this thing's real tight. Oh my. Look at this bad baby. See this here? This is what we need here. So we just plug this at a 30 degree angle. Yep, like that. Slide in. And now we need the screw. Right, so I got the SSD in. Not in the best way, it's not fully screwed. Uh... So apparently I need to enable it in the BIOS. Two, I connected, right, when I already had a SATA 5 and a SATA 6. Uh, on the 2 terabyte one, which is why the 2 terabyte one was showing, because this one was using that already. So I've connected that to uh, run about there. And with the disk management, this too is the NVMe. And I changed this into a GPT. In a nutshell, you got to enable it. So enable this, and then you create a volume, a simple volume. And bam. Up next is RAM. Now RAM is actually quite easy to replace and actually insert. 20 seconds at max, so quite easy to do. However, in this machine, uh, we only do that with one, since these ones doesn't move back. As you see here, go back here, flick that. I would grab this and put put the clip and voila <laughs> you can see here sometimes you have to really fucking push down and then have one side just a click 